you want to you don't want to introduce it i'll introduce everything it'll make it here's the concept that these guys pick up and then you go over what stuff all right, is. All right cool you can come in and jump in and tell people what stuff is too so all right is that okay also no i know but just tell people <laughs> what, what you guys picked up Patreon and the internet. Uh, my wonderful friends Toby and Lane here went to Comic Con International 2016. Picked up all this lovely swag. Toby is going to tell you everything they got. Lane, will you feel jump in here and, and let us know what you guys picked up. I want to hear all about all this great stuff you guys got us. This stuff, none of this stuff is for sale. These are all ours. Like you know, you guys don't get any of this. These are all ours. But we wanted to show you what we got because people like unboxing videos and stuff like that. So Toby, start explaining what is everything. We got a whole lot of goodies here, and we're gonna go over them a little bit here. Uh, Lane, do you want to introduce any of it, or should I just go for it? Go for it. All right, so Charlie's got the Rocket Raccoon statue by Scotty Young. He also got the Bruce Wayne uh, Kotobukiya to go with his Alfred uh, Kotobukiya from last year. Yes. Now, Bryce is the only man that has gone for the Dazzler vinyl cover as he would have bought in the 80s. <laughs> now see Toby, here's the thing. I totally would have got this if you would have, as a good friend, told me this was there. All you had to do is pick up the phone from Comic-Con where you get no cell reception and call me on your day off and just be like, Ryan, can I spend 50 bucks for you? And you didn't, so thank you, thanks. Good friend, Ryan, good friend, Toby. Good friend. you could check your missed calls. I tried calling you. Bullshit. <laughs> I definitely did. No, it's not bullshit. <laughs> I definitely did. All right. Anyways, Bryce Larson got the Dazzler vinyl cover. Here we go to one of my personal friends who has the. I'm sorry, I'm getting used to this little rig here. I'm not quite used to it yet. Uh, this is a uh, Ryu beanie, or it might be uh, Akuma. I'm not entirely sure, but it's Street Fighter. Uh, there's a T-shirt that goes with it, and for you Jordan fans, I'm um, sorry. Here we go. For you Jordan fans, it's it's a Jordan shirt. I'm going the wrong way. I'm sorry here. It's Jordan shirt. Uh, instead of air, it says fight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Lane got a uh, Brittany Lee uh, book for uh, one of his friends. What's really cool is she drew in it. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. It's for one of Lane's friends. All right. Ah, my personal favorite is Terry Dotson, and he drew in it too. And give me a little flyer to make sure to buy his book. Super nice guy. I really like that dude. Uh, I'm a big uh, Chris, I uh, can't even talk right now, I'm a big Chris Sanders fan. Uh, his new book is Kiss Galoo Volume 2. He also remastered the first volume and just threw it into the book. For all you guys out there, Chris Sanders created uh, Lilo and Stitch. He was one of the co-directors for uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, one of my favorite artists because I really, really dig his style. Uh, his animals are super awesome. Uh, so I usually drop by his booth, super nice dude. His five super nice. Um, next we got Campbell. Campbell got this really cool book called Ionology. It's, it's pencils over his inks. Super fantastic book. Just check this out. Oh my God. Freaking fantastic. All right. Uh, as a, um, oh, since we're here, uh, on the streets, so we're giving out this fantastic, uh, uh, Wonder Woman cover, uh, Entertainment Weekly. I couldn't pass that up. Sorry, Rafi, I didn't get you one. So this is mine. Um, as a He-Man fan, Loyal Subject put out this really, really cool mini Skeletor. Since I was actually really good this year and didn't buy any toys on the last day, I was like, you know what? I'll treat myself. Glow in the dark. Pretty cool. Uh, while we're at it, Loyal Subject also had a couple of turtles. They didn't have all four of them, so I decided to just get uh, Michelangelo because he comes with uh, this little cool skateboard dude. So, pretty sweet. Uh, oh, I didn't bring the prototype. But yeah, me, me and Lane went to this uh, dinner and uh, I actually want a prototype for a uh, 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 GI Joe for Ro Roblox for having a special, yeah, I, just, I want, so pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, so next up we got Brock that wanted the uh, Saga figures, so we brought him one of those back. Uh, Brock also wanted some of these really, really cool, here, these really cool uh, chrome rebirth covers. I think Ryan got a set. Ryan, did you get a set? Right, Ryan just left, so we don't know if he got a set. Yeah, uh, now for Rafi, since I didn't bring you this guy, I did bring you one of the Comic Con souvenir books, which has a lot of the Wonder Woman art in it. So I didn't leave you out completely. So there you go. 
the what? Oh, you got a plane. For, you brought him a plane, right? Yeah. So uh, then we have the Udon, really sexy butt cami cover. I wish I got this, but um, I didn't. So, oh well. Uh, Albert Toy got this really cool Ash and Pikachu in a hat thing. The hat thing is kind of cool. I really kind of want that too. Uh, this is a Pokeball. Do we have to give this to him? Uh, I guess so, we should. Uh, Lane brought also a... Ah! I destroyed some prints here, I'm sorry. Lane brought over uh, a Campbell uh, lanyard here. Again, sorry, I'm not used to this rig yet, so it's kind of cool. Um, um, and then if the, they gave out these little um, American Gods uh, keychains. Sorry, don't know how to speak English. Uh, I actually don't even know what this is. Lane, can you explain this one? It's a button. Oh, it's a pin that yeah, Rob I wanted. wanted. I wanted it. From what what is it? It's a pin, like the Disney pins. Yeah, but what is it? Skybound. That's from Manifest Destiny. Is that a book? Yes. Yeah. All right, that's all you have to say. All right, so anyways, Brock got this pin. Now, my personal favorite thing I can to do is to get fucking glasses. I love glasses. Absolutely love them because I run a bunch of obstacle courses. I lose glasses all the time. I don't want to buy no fancy glasses. These are some Xbox glasses. So thank you, Xbox. I don't play Xbox, but I fucking <laughs> love your glasses. So keep giving me guys. Now, these black ones are even better because they don't look like promo glasses. And these are Mad Cats. So thank you, Mad Cats. It's actually, thank you, uh, Mark Thornton. Thornton? I think it's Mark Nord. Thank you very much for inviting me to come to the bar, have a beer with you, because I scored these nice glasses from Mad Cats. Uh, since I lost my really cool BuzzFeed glasses a while ago. Uh, and now we are from going to the Vikings panel. I got this really cool thing. It's This is a Viking horn uh, that you could drink out of. So that's that's pretty sweet. There's no picture on it. Oh, well. So just imagine it, I guess. Uh, um, there we got a uh, Dez Taylor print. That must be Tony's, I'm guessing. Or uh, Lane is fighting Tony for it. I'm not sure. Pretty cool. It's mine, thank you. Uh, there we go, we got some really nice art germ, Stanley Lau prints. Look at that, look at that, oh, look at that, look at that. Harley, I want Harley. is uh, not Brock's. Damn it, I uh, want it. Supergirls is maybe Tony's. These two Chun Li's are obviously mine. They're obviously mine, are they? Oh, well, they're mine now, so, you know, we just don't tell them about it. Uh, I think, I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. For now. For now. For now. So we're not quite done yet because yes, we're back internet because I had to open my stuff. Yeah. And what did you open? I opened the Rocket Raccoon by Gentle Giant just because I knew it was gonna be small, but I wanted to see it and I am very, very happy with it. It's freaking awesome actually. Yeah. It's pretty okay. damn awesome. And it's nice quality, it's definitely sort of stable and stuff, which I like a lot, so Sweet! I'm gonna go home and go on my bookshelf. Sweet! And you know, it's funny, Charlie. I called you on the last day because I actually felt bad. I forgot about this. I saw it on the thing. I was like, wait, they still have them. They still yeah. want it. Yep. You said yes, and here it is. Um, this might not be the end of the video. I may dig up the uh, signature stuff and show that off too, maybe. All right. <laughs> It's just going to keep going. It's yeah. the video that never ends. The never ending video. <laughs> All right, we'll see if we continue. And we're back again. So here we got some Dustin new imprints. Uh, he was very nice to give me these for my birthday. Lane got a set too. That's pretty cool. it has got Cassie here. It's got Nightwing here. It's got Steph here. It's pretty badass. We even got Barbara, uh, Damien. Uh, I love these two prints, pretty badass. Uh, and then Fox was, is it Fox? I don't even know. Um, no, Power Rangers. Uh, I really, really, really dig this movie poster for Power Rangers because it's really straight, simple, uh, really cool design. Um, so pretty cool. I'm pretty uh, excited for this movie. Uh, then we got one of my all-time favorites. I'm holding these posters up. All, it's all these little square cutie thingies, kawaii cubes by DC uh, are holding our posters up right now. But here's one of my favorites, the Prison Break, with all the signatures by the cast. And uh, no Dominic Purcell, though, um, because he had to go catch a plane. And lastly, the Supergirl signing. So including Superman is on here. So it's pretty cool. Anyways. 
this might be the last video might not be the last video uh, I'm gonna just keep adding on this probably as I find more shit as I unpack but here you go and we're back I've changed clothes Ryan has changed clothes he's come back it's actually a different night I wanted to add this very last clip the very last thing is the Orphan Black t-shirt that uh, was given out for uh, being at the panel which I thought was really cool because they kind of honor the, the clone club which has been the unofficial or official uh, fan club basically but it's really just the hashtag but it's pretty sweet that they did this for the fan fans um, since it's their last Comic Con most likely uh, Today I was uh, putting the video together to uh, get uploaded and I realized how badly I'm narrating all of this and I made a few mistakes so I apologize uh, ahead of time since uh, since it's really bad. Uh, hopefully next time I get someone else to narrate it but hopefully enjoy it anyways. See you guys later. Bye.